we have started data transmission and we have successfully completed all these objectives types and method of data transmission uh, structure of data packet header payload and trailer packet switching including the role of router in the process method of data transmission including serial parallel simplex half duplex and full duplex and the universal serial bus universal serial bus we have completed this chunk now heading towards error detection method now our focus is on method of error detection we know how to transmit the data from computer a to computer b and using different modes and types of data transmission including serial parallel simplex half duplex and full duplex you will find all these tutorials in the description of this video um, scroll down and you will find all these tutorials over there uh, I have thoroughly explained over there ok uh, now uh, let's find method of error detection uh, we, uh, why we use method of error detection so that we can ensure that our data arrived at our destination uh, without any error uh, without any change so these are different questions that we have to uh, go through in this chapter ok um, why error checking methods are needed error checking method following data transmission parity check check some echo check these are very important these checks okay according to exam point of view uh, view igcse or gceo level 2.1 above there are number of ways data can be checked for error for for errors following transmission so these are the number of ways so number one is parity check then checksum then echo check parity check echo check checksum and the echo check so let's start from the parity check parity check checksum and echo check these are different methods of error detection so parity check what is parity check what is the purpose of it? the purpose is same to detect the errors in your data transmission so now how to apply this parity check a parity checking is one method used to check whether the data has been changed or corrupted following data transmission this method is based on the number of one bits in a byte of data The parity can be either called even, that is an even number of one bit in a byte or odd, that is an odd number of one bits in the byte. For example, if we are having the information, look here, if there is one byte of information, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, the leftmost bit is known as parity bit. So it's a 8 bit uh, information. So now, what if uh, sender and receiver agree to apply even parity? In even parity, we will just uh, count no, even number of ones over here. One, two, three, four. Fours are there. Four is even number. So we will apply zero over here. So now it shows that we have applied even parity. Okay. Uh, usually, the most significant big bits are leftmost bit is reserved for the parity bit the parity bit is setting out whether the parity being um, used is even or odd for example consider the following byte okay now in this example if the byte is even even parity then the parity bit which is the leftmost bit that need to be set zero i have already set this to zero because i have counted number of ones over here because center and receiver they are agree when they are going to uh, encrypt the data or encrypt or decrypt the data they will use what 
even parity odd are the odd parity. Okay. Um, so now, what next? Okay. Now, in this example, if the byte is using odd parity, what if the sender and receiver they both agree when we are going to apply um, encryption or decryption? So we have to use odd parity check to check the error. Then the parity bits needs to be set C1. Since we need to have the odd numbers of ones in the byte. Byte is what? 8 bit is equal to 1 byte. So it is called 1 byte of information. So this is reserved for this uh, the left most bit is reserved for the parity bit. So how many ones over here? 1, 2, 3 and 4. 1, 2, 3 and 4 bit. 4 ones over there. But when uh, they are saying okay, uh, we have to apply odd parity, then you have to put 1 over here instead of 0. Why 1? Because we have to make this odd. So 5 is odd, 1 is odd, 3 is odd, 7 is odd. Okay? Did there any confusion? How to apply even parity or odd parity? No, sir. Before data is transferred, this is called error checking method. Shaheen. So we have just started method of error detection. Before data is transferred, an agreement is made between sender and receiver. Between both of us. I am sender and you are receiver. Regarding which type of parity is being used. From even or odd, you have to select only one. Parity checks are therefore being used as a type of transmission protocol, and the protocols are the rules. Uh, we set rules to uh, follow when we transmit the data from computer A to computer B. From my computer to your computer, we have to follow some protocols. For example, I'm saying that well, when you will uh, dec decrypt the data, you have to apply even parity. Because I have uh, encrypted the data with the help of even parity, and you the same way you have to decrypt the data with the help of even parity. Count number of ones. Okay, now let's uh, solve this activity. Activity 2.4. Uh, I'm assigning this you task. You have to do it, and then I will help you to solve this activity. So now I'm giving you, let's say, five minutes to solve this activity. Okay, so it's mentioned here even parity okay. being used. Even parity is used on only this specific number of seven bits. So you have to find out the parity bit. For example, even parity applied one, two, three, four, five. Then you have to write over here according to error checking method. This is error checking method mentioned on the right side. Zero or one. It's up to you. Now do it. You have only five minutes, not more than five minutes. Okay, come on, please start. Okay. 